Okay, we're talking about hook spacing for your Conso 206 RB. This would apply for any of the RB variants, one through five. And there are several things you wanna consider when you're looking at the timing of your industrial sewing machine. First and foremost would be hook timing. That's what we think of when anyone says timing on your sewing machine. So that has to be adjusted correctly. And I'll refer you to a specific video for adjusting the rotary hook timing. You can find that through on-screen links or at any time, just drop down to the description box. We'll have those resources for you there. Another important thing to set is your needle bar height. That's covered in a separate video, but today we're honing in specifically on hook spacing. That is how close the hook is to the needle. There's a specific setting for that. And if yours is out of spec, your machine won't sew correctly. And the most common symptoms you'll get are skip stitches, particularly when you're changing feed direction or sewing at high speed. Now the hook spacing can be observed here where the hook is adjacent to the needle. This is the timing position of the machine. And this would be an example of the hook spacing being much too far. And this would be an example of the hook touching the needle and being too close. And so with a little bit of trial and error, what you want to find is that position where the hook is as close to the scarf of the needle as possible without physically making contact. Now the stated spec for hook spacing is between four and six thousandths of an inch, and that's pretty hard to judge when it's on the machine. So in practical terms, this just means that you'll get the hook as close to the needle as possible without touching it. So under the machine, there's two screws that are at the hook assembly here and here. These are the two screws that you need to loosen to make adjustments to your hook spacing. Now I would reiterate, these are not the screws that you want to adjust for rotary hook timing. If you use those to make adjustments to your hook timing, you're gonna do yourself a disservice because one of those screws will invariably not be in that ditch, that notch that it's supposed to sit in. And as a result, your machine is more likely to go out of timing in the future. So please, please, please refer to my hook timing video for that specific adjustment. We are only loosening these screws for the purpose of hook spacing. And just a more general look underneath the machine. These are the screws we're working on to set the hook spacing. These would be the screws you would loosen to set hook timing. As you loosen these two screws, it's important to identify which one sits in a little V-notch. Now, if you only loosen this screw slightly, you'll be able to maintain your rotary hook setting and you won't affect your timing just by sliding the hook left or right. To identify which of these screws sits in the V-groove, just shine a light in there. I can see now this is the screw that sits in a V-ditch and you'll want to just gently loosen that screw to make your adjustments. And when you re-tighten this, make sure to tighten that screw first to maintain your hook timing. To check how I did on my first try, I'll just put my finger on that needle and see if I can feel the tick from the hook as it passes the needle. And I can, so I know I'm just a little bit too close. We'll try one more time. On our second try, this looks very good. As the hook approaches the needle, it's very, very close to the scarf of the needle and it's passing the needle 1 16th above the eye. And that's exactly what we set it to with our needle bar height adjustment video. The final check is just to put your hand alongside the needle without deflecting it and roll that hook past. You shouldn't feel the tick, tick, tick of the hook hitting the needle, and I don't, yet it's as close as physically possible without touching it. So we know that's the perfect hook spacing. Next, secure that second screw that does not sit in a ditch and snug that up nice and tight. This is an easy adjustment to make yourself with just two screws and it's well worth the few minutes it takes to avoid skip stitches on your projects. Now when you're testing after your hook spacing adjustment, if everything looks good slow speed, Go ahead and increase your speed and change directions frequently. Make sure you don't get any skip stitches. Check the stitching top and bottom, and if all looks good, it's a successful adjustment. Remember to drop down to the description box. There you'll find a link to the latest version of this machine, the Conso 206 RB5. You'll also find my video resources specific to the 206 model. I also want to encourage you to start with the simplest fix first. 
Make sure you don't have a pop safety clutch. And if you are having continued problems with your machine, always start by replacing the needle with the correct size and needle system and re-threading the machine from top to bottom and try it again. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.